Hi, Pastor Anthony Decker with your hashtag Better Together Devotion for today. And this week I'm talking about what the church should offer. Now, every church I know, no matter where you go, every church offers a big time gathering for folks to come and to express worship to God. We do so in prayer. We do so in song. We do so by hearing the word read, the scriptures, by hearing the word preached in the sermon, by expressing and, and, and telling God what's going on in our lives and hearing from God guidance and deliverance and salvation. That's worship. That's what we offer, and every church offers worship in some form or fashion. When I look at the scriptures, and when I look at the way with, with the Hebrew people in the Old Testament, and with the young church in the book of Acts, and the letters that Paul writes in, in the New Testament, I see a church that a, a group of people of God who connects with God through worship. Worship is extremely important, and the church should offer worship but I want to add some qualifiers to this. The church should offer passionate worship, and the church should offer practical worship. Now, sometimes churches go one way or the other on that, but I believe both and is the answer. We, we need to offer passionate worship, worship that brings our heart, worship that brings the fire in our belly, worship that brings us to, to the realization that we're in a heap of trouble if we don't get to doing something for God, worship that makes us think and sit back and reckon about what life ought to be like, worship that is passionate, that causes a, a change within us, that pathos that, that, that root word for compassion and empathy and, and, and sympathy and, and, and all the other ways we can feel passion. But also worship should be practical. You know, there are lots of times I've been to worship services that were so filled with passion. I mean, I, I felt good afterwards or I, or I felt I was weeping. It was hitting me so hard. But at the same time, when I left the door, I, I was kind of left with, now what? So what? Now what am I supposed to do? Worship should be a practical worship. Worship should be practical in the way that it equips us. When I look at the Old Testament, New Testament, I see the church of God equipping people to, to utilize that, that fire, that passion, to go and do things in the world and, and practically change the world, make things better, create the kingdom of God through the ways that we feel compassion, through the ways that we offer mercy, through the ways that we are the people of God and we are different. I once um, was the pastor in a rural community and I was visiting around to a lot of the farmers in the community and, and one of the farmers came to me and, and, and I was talking with him and, and he said, you know, I just never hear what I wanna hear at church. And so I went, I threw it back at him. I said, well, so what do you want to hear? He said, you know, you know what I'd like to hear is the price of corn, what price of corn is going to be in September, or what, what, what price of corn is going to be after a harvest. What he was expressing was this, was that so many times our worship doesn't connect with the world. Now, I, I don't really think he believed we could forecast or prophesy or some kind of future telling thing, but I do believe he wanted the worship to connect he wanted to experience a worship that would connect with his heart and that would equip his hands. A worship that was passionate and a worship that was practical. The church should offer practical, passionate worship today so that we can be the people of God. Amen.